Our next story is of a leader who is a renowned teacher of meditation. He is a vital role model for anyone who wanted to evolve as a human being and expand consciousness. A spiritual catalyst displaying the perfect blend of Eastern heart and Western mind. So let's go to Hyderabad at the world's largest meditation center and look at the wonderful journey of Sri Kamlesh T. Patel, often endearingly referred to as Daji. This year, our search led us to Kanha Shantivanan in Telangana. This campus, inaugurated in February 2020 by the President of India, is the world's largest meditation venue and also the International Center of Heartfulness. The man guiding the heartfulness movement and the visionary behind Kanha Shantivana is Kamlesh D. Patel, affectionately known as Daji. After retiring from a successful business career in the United States, Daji is now the fourth in a century-old lineage of spiritual guides. He is a self-professed student of spirituality and also an accomplished writer, having authored the bestsellers the Heartfulness Way, and Designing Destiny. This change maker has personally driven the development of Kahna Shantivanan while providing guidance to millions of spiritual seekers in over 160 countries. Daji has also reached out to other spiritual systems to unite in the service of humanity. For his tireless and exemplary efforts, the brand story are honored to have recognized Sri Kamlesh D. Patel as India's most admirable leader. On behalf of Managing Director, Mr. Abhay Koshik, the brand story's Hemant Sharma presented the award at a special ceremony at Kanha Shantivanam, attended by over 25,000 people. There's so much of information how to make use of the best information. So when it comes to good, better, best, then the question arises, who will decide that it is the best? The heart. So heart is going to rule the next few decades, not the mind. Now it's time to you know, give gifts of our heartfulness practices lavishly to the world. Come and try it out and see the difference it can make in your life. If you want a brighter future, you can create it today by working in the present. We are not the important witnesses of our destiny unfolding in front of our eyes, but we are the maker of our own destiny. Youth has to learn this and don't be despondent when something fails in life. In fact, failure can become if you use your failure wisely, a stepping stone to greater success. And I would like to remind our youth that you know the future is in your hands. With a silent heart, still heart, with a calm mind, you can really create your own life individually, very successful in material as well as spiritual life. And most CEOs I classify in two categories. One is accidental CEO and another is legend. Even if you're accidental, still there's a time to become a legendary in your field. So you don't let accidents or coincidences drive your life. Let it be a well-planned, well-dreamt-off. Made successful with your personal efforts, see, with visions. So I like to see CEOs become legends, guiding other who follow them, who are associated with them, and become the pillars of the society.